the most unusual story I've come across in the last it's a bold statement. couple weeks. I mean, <laughs> you tell me. Radioactive wasps. That, does, that doesn't sound good. Um, Sounds like a movie title. Yeah. Um, now the wasps are radioactive. Four radioactive wasp nests were discovered at South Carolina's Savannah River site, which was a Cold War era 310 square mile facility that was used to produce plutonium for nuclear weapons back during the Cold War. It's been shut down since then. Uh, it stores mostly radioactive waste now. The cleanup at that place will not be completed until 2065, <laughs> and there are about 34 million gallons of liquid radioactive waste stored in 43 underground tanks at this facility. People doing ecological surveys found a wasp nest that they tested for radiation exposure and found that it was over 10 times the limit that are higher than federal safety limits. And then they found a bunch of other nests also registering that <laughs> high. So what this means is that there are leaks in the nuclear storage facility and the wildlife in the area is being exposed to it. Now I will head this off and say, we're not about to get giant mutant wasps most likely because that's not really how radiation works. Mm. But I mean, come on here. I'll, I'll show this one here real quick. If we can go to my uh, slide after this one, like this is, this is the facility that harmless. you can see. Mm -hmm. Seems harmless, but like this is where they were manufacturing nuclear weapons All right. and stuff. And now it stores radioact or radioactive waste. Next slide. Um, do you want giant mutant mm -hmm. wasps? Because mm -hmm. that's how you get giant mutant wow. wasps. <laughs> Seems unlikely to happen, maybe, but you never know because these things kind of kind of go nuts. So they're, they're finding that because wasps don't go far from their nests, they are going out and getting wood pulp from nearby trees that are also radioactive and then building nests out of them, which is just causing the limits to spike. So what do you guys think? What are the implications of this? And before you answer that, I'll, I'll add this. The Department of Energy insists that the nests do not pose a health risk and attribute the radiation to legacy contamination rather than anything actually being a problem. Department of Energy, give me a break. Um, so, I mean, I think that it shows that things could like live with exposure to nuclear um, waste more than we thought. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we know a whole lot about what nuclear waste actually does, because there's this stuff with, like, you ever see the people walking around Chernobyl, like tourists? Oh, speaking of Chernobyl, I actually have, sorry to cut you off, oh, yeah. I, I, I have some I, of the stats on I that. I was going to go the, there. The wolves in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have developed an immunity to radiation and DNA markers that show resistance to cancer. Yeah. The wolves receive up to six times the radiation dose allowed for humans, yet exhibit physiological resilience, including shifts in the immune system similar to radiation therapy patients. And then there's wild boars and pigs that roam the exclusion zone as well. They eat radioactive fungi because they hunt for truffles. <laughs> All of them are also highly radioactive and found to be resistant to various forms of cancer. So, so like prolonged radiation exposure does lead to weird genetic abnormalities. Right. So, I mean, like, I'm glad you brought that up because I do remember hearing about the wolves a long time ago. Like, what the hell exactly is our understanding of what radiation does to us? Because we, like, associate it as if we get exposed to radiation, then we're going to, like, get cancer all of a sudden or get very sick. Like, if it's strong enough, you will die mm -hmm. immediately. Are you sure about that? Yes. 100%. I mean, that that's confirmed. Look at like, the... Uh, I, I watch videos of people you, dying. Have over. you heard of the... Oh, why? Because uh, the internet banned them. Have you heard of the, the demon core experiment? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was the, the... The demon uh, core. The... the, the uh, was it beryllium? I think it was like... I a, don't what a crazy well, name. It was like one of the cores used for like an unused atomic warhead that would have been dropped potentially at the end of World War II. It wasn't put into a bomb and then it was just used for radiation experiments. And they... It was made with these two halves over the core, and they had to be held open so that the, and you know, I'm exposing how little I know about like actual atomic particulate yeah. science there, but it had to be held open so that it wasn't completely radioactive and lethal. Mm -hmm. And at one point, they were using it for an experiment, and it was just held open with these two little like metal shims. Yeah. And then one of them fell, and the thing snapped shut. Everyone in the room was dead within like a week. And this happened multiple times. They, yeah. The like, Demon Core experiments, they kept they called it the Demon Core because it killed like a couple dozen people hmm. over the course of a few decades. So uh, microdosing radiation might have positive like, like very high grade radiation <laughs> over a short amount of time is lethal. But it seems like background radiation over a long period of time 
might be affecting living creatures in ways we weren't necessarily expecting. Not medical advice, uh, by any uh, means. Certainly <laughs> not. Ra- radiation is about how, how much of a dose of radiation you get. Like, for example, and people are being against it. Like, when you get x-rayed, you get exposed to, like, a safe amount of radiation. You shouldn't do it too often. Uh, and but it's th- why the doctor has to go step y- behind the thing because behind. they're exposed dozens of times a day, yeah. which would have a much more significant impact. Yeah, but, uh, you know, like, for, for example, uh, anything above 2,000 rads will kill Ra- you. In- rats? R- rads. Rads. R-A-D-S. Okay. Uh, that will kill you immediately. Uh-huh. Like, you will start literally, you get liquefied on the inside, and you will start puking your nice. gu- guts out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but then long exposure to lower doses, they also, like, for example, in Vietnam, um, I think it was Vietnam with the a- Agent Orange mm-hmm. that had uh, radioactive properties. Uh, you had all sorts of cancers, and, and not good, Brendan. Not good at all. No, it's not fun stuff. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the, like, with the bees, I don't know if that poses a danger to us or anything. I'm more interested in like what we don't know about the nuclear exposure because like that that wolf thing, I, I do mm-hmm. remember that like it had some positive impact on them somehow. So are like these bees supercharged at all? No, 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 no. Because see, I'll I'll throw this image up for any um any Fallout fans out mm-hmm. there. Like you might recognize these. Ah. What, what we think would happen if wasps got radioactive, but according to everything or at least conventional science, that we know about how radiation and mutations work, it doesn't cause, like, supercharged mutations or or additional gains of function. It's usually a loss of function, where there there might be mutations in altered DNA, but mostly it's DNA breakdown, mutates to create infertility or, you know, various other genetic abnormalities. So we're not likely to see, you know... Somebody gets stung by a wasp <laughs> and becomes Wasp Man. Oh, wasp Man. But, 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 but like, it's always the plot yeah, of superhero the, movies, though, that something nuclear, like they fall into yeah, nuclear yeah. waste. Or... But, but, like, I mean, the way this works, all right, uh, are cells. They're constantly dividing, all right? Yeah. And cancer starts when a division of cells goes wrong. Well, it's all right? When it starts multiplying too much. Yeah, when mm-hmm. they're multiplying. They divide and they multiply. It's, when, it's, a, it's a coding breakdown, it's essentially. A code, yeah, when it goes, when, it, when that breaks, you start getting cancers. That's where you get tumors and everything. What happens with insects in general, especially, not especially wasps, but wasps is one of them. There's cells, they divide less than mammal cells, and they have a shorter lifespan. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's not that they're not affected by... But the wolves, uh, though... Huh? Explain the wolves and the pigs. That's a mammal. That's different. Uh, that's what that's I'm saying. Different. But you said insects less than mammals. So how do yeah. you explain the mammals? Lower dosage and uh, longer exposure. Because like the it, within the sarcophagus, because you know how they've built this giant concrete dome called the sarcophagus over the yeah. uh, actual power plant at Chernobyl. With, within that, the radiation is significantly higher than it is on the outside. And then if you get anywhere close to the elephant's foot. That's the giant spilled thing from the reactor core. Yeah. That, that will kill you instantly. Right. That's, and that will not stop being lethal for Do you watch Ch- Chernobyl? M- millennia to come. Mm. Do you guys watch Chernobyl? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Gnarly. That, yeah. Gnarly. And it's like, that's not an argument against nuclear power, like we just talked about in a, our previous segment. And it's against letting failing communist countries have access to nuclear power, sure. But, you know, people that are halfway competent that won't happen. And big, yeah. sh- big, big shout out to Archer. It's one of the best shows out yeah. there. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Underrated. Very mm, underrated. Absolutely. Did you, did you hear that King of the Hill is back? Yeah, I did. I, I never I never got into the original. You never? Ah, yeah. I, I thought you would like it. but it, whatever. Maybe, maybe it's worth a shot. More of an Archer but, guy. Yeah, I mean, Ar- Archer is a... Every episode is fantastic, but... It, it gave us Until that. Until he goes into the coma. Are, are you trying to get giant mutant wasps? He called because it. He, he did. Um, that's an, does it not mean there's an actual text? No, no. The actual line okay. is, are you trying to get ants? Because oh. this is how you get ants. <laughs> I remember that. But it, re- it relates to insects. All right. Hmm. But, yeah, so maybe put some fears to bed. It doesn't seem like we're about to get, you know, attacked by a swarm of giant radioactive stinging insects, but you never know. Well, I was more worried about the murder hornets, the ones that were supposedly killing actual bees. Yeah, you know, we ha- we have killer bees and then murder hornets, and now nuclear radiation, hor- nu- nu- nuke wasps. Why, why do people go to North Carolina? 
You mean just in general? Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people going there because over it's beautiful. The summer. Yeah, That's my parents live there. Place. It's one of the best places in the country. That's where Cam All right, lives. so they're close to the wasps. This is Georgia, yeah. isn't it? This is South Carolina. Oh, okay. Uh, but it, it's all like real close. So I mean, my parents being right across the border in North Carolina, if if the the rad wasps do start coming out with a vengeance. They'll be the first to get hit, and you guys will be the first to know when I tell you that I've lost my entire family to <laughs> mutant knees. Nuclear wasps. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, patriots.